So many of you have been watching my uh, Let's Play series or my tutorial series for Screeps, how to get started as a new player, and the basics of JavaScript. And one thing that I've sort of noticed is that it's hard to develop um, your code without the motivation of having other players around you. Um, other things that are difficult to do are things like market interaction and um, experiencing the early game combat phases, planning an adequate defense, things like that. So that was one uh, sort of area that my uh, tutorial series is breaking down. So I've created this uh, new persistent server uh, hosted on some OVH hardware. And I'm going to open this up to the community. I'll post the IP address down in the description of this video and um, a few other places around the Scroops community. And this server is specifically for players who are just beginning the game and are writing their own code base. That's really important. I don't want to see a bunch of open source code bases on this server. And if I do see them, I'll be uh, removing those players from the server. And I also want to uh, limit the uh, GCL and uh, CPU of players on the server. So what this is meant to be is a place for you to come on with a, a bot that's either uh, just starting out or still in the early stages of development. I would define that as a bot that is running a few rooms, uh, has some basic code for things like expansion, uh, maybe a little bit of market interaction, uh, some basic defense, and some basic offensive capabilities. So while you're um, going about developing those things, or you're going through my tutorial series, or, um, this would be a great place for you to, you know, put your bot and allow it to sort of grow and develop while using some of the community resources that are available to you, like the Slack form and um, um, the Discord channel for a or Gaming. Uh, we can have discussions there, and I can give you some feedback and advice about how to, you know, push your code base forward and things that you can take as like next steps. But right now we've got four uh, sectors that are open. I I'm currently using one room, and this is the bot code that I've been developing for the Scripps tutorial series, and I'll continue to develop as um, the coming weeks, uh, in the coming weeks. So a few things about this are you could check out the website I have for some more information about uh, the Scripps uh, server here. So I'm calling it the, the Noob Sandbox server, and the IP is right here, uh, scroopsandbox.atenorgaming.com. Uh, you can go ahead and copy the server IP from the website. Uh, it'll be in the description as well. And it sort of goes over some of the philosophy of this server. Uh, if you need uh, support or have an issue with the server, uh, go ahead and um, fill out this form, and it will uh, alert me on Discord. Um, and we also have some plugins that were developed by AGS. Um, so thanks a lot. Shout out to him for um, putting these together. But we have uh, links here for uh, some of the resources we have, like the website, uh, the Scripps tutorial series I'm working on, and Scripps World. So if you go to Scripps World, you can uh, check out some of the tutorials we have for Scripps. Uh, we have things on here like how to get started with Atom, uh, Scripps Autocomplete, um, how to do some basic market stuff, uh, how to set up Grafana if you're uh, into graphs and data, and uh, some basic guides about uh, state machines, setting up your Scripps, um, defense and offense, and TypeScript, and more. Also, here we have a forum. This was added recently, but if yeah. If you have a question about code and you want to, you know, post a snippet here, you can, and I'll try to uh, take a look here occasionally. But uh, having a repository like this that uh, is more persistent will allow us to um, sort of build off of uh, the the questions uh, that have occurred in the past, rather than sort of code snippets being lost permanently on the Slack when we go over the message limit. So. If you want, you can you can make a post here. If you have a question, uh, paste a bit of code, and we can try to you know, work through a problem together. 
So there's some resources there. We also have things like the current tick time uh, and uh, what tick the world is at. And um, also it pulls uh, some stats for the players that are currently on the server. So you, uh, we can sort of monitor each other's progress. So one thing to, to note on the server is it's not supposed to be a persistent, long-lasting server. You're going to want to keep a backup of your, your code um, somewhere else on your local machine. And I'll put another video out um, explaining how to do that. The other thing is that um, down the road, once uh, if there's more inter interest in this sort of server, I, I'll create a you know long-term persistent server um, on new server hardware, and that one will be where one where you can uh, play with hopefully some some quicker tick times uh, than the MMO world while still getting the full scripts experience. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video about uh, the new server I'll be releasing. And um, you know, go ahead and, and log in and plop down a bot. But please do observe the rules. If it's an um, advanced code base or it's a uh, open source code base that you're just uh, downloading from a GitHub repository, I ask that you refrain from doing that. This, this server is meant for... Uh, new players who are just starting out and want to develop their bots and need to have um, peers that are at the same level and stage of the game. Um, it, that's one of the biggest problems on MMO that you'll spawn in, uh, get overrun fairly quickly by another player because you don't have you know, the basics of defense, you don't have an economy, you don't have expansion code. And it can be very um, disappointing and uh, and sort of break the spirits of new players. Um, I mean, it is part of the game. I, I was uh, wiped out several times when I first started in Scrapes, but um, I've been able to uh, sort of develop my code base and uh, alliances and uh, connections in the game to a point where that's no longer a threat for me. But I'd love to see more players uh, reach that phase where um, they can get to like the late game combat of Scrapes, which is the one of the more interesting bits of this game. But anyway, um, you check out the Scrap Sandbox server if you're developing a new code base, and um, reach out to me on Discord or Slack if uh, you have any questions. Thanks for watching, guys.